In this episode, I talk about the role of division and keeping us divided and controlled in this reality. I share about the importance of bridging the gaps between us and coming together and working together for our own individual and collective empowerment. Hi, and welcome to Heal Into Balance with Jamie Cohen. My name is Jamie Cohen. I'm a holistic consultant based in Visalia, California, and I specialize in the Aboriginal Dreamtime Healing using holographic kinetics. It's a powerful healing modality, unlike anything else, that allows me to facilitate communication with the person's spirit so that the person can find the root cause of their issues, whether they were created in this life past lives or pass down the genetic lines so that they can make changes in order to make their lives better. So I'm just going to let the information that comes through flow. This topic came up, I was watching a video by Kyle Cease the other day and he was talking about the guilt and shame he feels just for being a white man in this society today here in the United States. And he apologized on behalf of white men and you could hear him carrying the pain and the shame and the guilt his heart is so big and he's doing so much to help others this whole division agenda is keeping humanity divided in every which way that it possibly can so that we can be more easily controlled while i see you know validity in in everyone's journey and where they're at on their path. You know, I honor them feeling passionate about things, but for me, the feminist movement, it just does not resonate with me at all. I just see more of a value in us all joining together than I do in any of us dividing up and like fighting for things. I feel like at this point in time, February 2023, we are moving towards new ways of being and doing. And I think the old ways of thinking that you have to fight against things is falling away. And I think more and more people are realizing this, but we still have the residual of the old that we're contending with in this reality. And so it can be really difficult to, you know, fit into that and say for a white man, you know, and especially a straight white man in this society, like it's gotten so bad to the point where they're like feeling all this guilt as if they've done something wrong just by existing. When we're making a group of people feel that way, we're moving in the wrong direction. Like no one should feel bad for being born who they are and existing. When we get to that place where there are people that do feel that way. And I get that, you know, things in history have happened. Like, I'm not denying that. But when are we going to move on and move forward together? When are we going to pick up the pieces and start from now? The reality is that when we fight against things, we're actually fighting for the very things that we're saying that we're against. The universe doesn't know negatives. When we say we don't want war, we are focusing our energy on war. When we say we don't want racism, we are literally creating more racism. Well, we're focusing on inequality. It's like we really have to shift it. We have to focus on what we want. And the more we do that, the better our own individual realities are going to become. So the way we flip that is we focus on peace. We focus on love. We focus on kindness. We focus on equality. And we stay in the frame of mind of what we want to create. We can't keep moving forward, focusing on what we don't want if we truly want change. It doesn't work that way. And the sooner we realize that, the better. I'm telling you, these agendas to separate men from women, to separate black from white, this group from that group, like it's everywhere. And really, it's all by design. And I wish, you know, People would see that more, but everybody's going to see what they see when they're ready. But say just for this whole men and women issue, and I know there are now other genders people talk about, but I'm just going to keep it simplistic to just make my points here today. There's a reason they want men to live in this shame and guilt. Those low emotions are keeping them 
vibing low. And you know what? When you're vibing low and your frequency is low and you just sit in shame and guilt, you can't rise up and create and be who you came here to be. You don't then get to stand in your full power. And what we need today are fully empowered people of all kinds, including white men, to feel empowered in who they are and empowered in who they came here to be. The reality is that we are all spiritual beings having this human experience. We have all been like everything you can imagine. And not just humans, we've been animals, we've been plants, we've been insects. And we find ourselves in this life and it's so easy the way that this reality is designed for us to get hung up on the physical material reality that we can see, feel, hear with our very limited senses. It's really easy to get so identified with this meat suit that we're wearing right now, for instance, the color of it, the gender of it, and we lose sight of the fact that this is not all we are, nor is it all we have ever been. We have been like everything. When I do holographic kinetic sessions, and I've had them for myself, you're literally shown this. You are shown past lives where you were a man. You know, I've been shown loads of past lives where I was a man or a boy. Same, you know, with a bunch of lives where I was a woman. I've been like so many different kinds of people too. So many different races of people. And so when we identify with just this one, we're really missing the point of this experience, in my opinion. We're here to grow and expand. We aren't here to divide up and fight each other. That's what the programs tell us to do. That's what the agendas tell us to do. That's not who we are at the core. And I know that you feel it, even if you're someone listening right now that is so passionate about the feminist movement or you're so passionate about helping women or you're so passionate about you know, helping men and empowering men. Those things are okay as far as getting people to be empowered in who they are. I am all for people becoming more empowered in who they are. But when we just identify and we get so attached to who we are in this particular blink in time, it means, in my opinion anyway, that we're missing, that we are spiritual beings having a human experience first and foremost. And I don't know about you, I'm just speaking from my own experience, but in my life, realizing that, like really realizing it, like really internalizing the fact that I am a spirit at the core of me and that this suit that I'm wearing is just one version. It's one role I've played. It's as if, you know, this is one play that I'm participating in this life. And in knowing that and really internalizing that and realizing that about myself and then learning about the power of my own spirit through the things I've learned, especially with holographic kinetics, but also just out of my own experiences and seeing what I'm able to create and seeing what my spirit is capable of, it really moves me past this particular body because really my goal for this life is to just become more of me than I've ever been before. More of the core essence of my energy, of my energetic frequency, of my particular footprint that comes through me, through my spirit to align with that energy as much as possible so that I can know my real power and that I can stand in it and that I can just show up authentically me. And that's my journey. But I just want to send so much love to everyone who's doing this inner work because as we peel back these layers, you just get closer and closer to realizing the truth about all of us, and that's that we're all the same underneath these meat suits. We're all spirits with our own trauma, with our own experiences that we've had throughout time with our own lessons to learn, our own particular patterns that we're breaking through, things that we're balancing out from past lives, you know, things that we're healing for our family lines. And we're all walking 
very individual, very unique paths on purpose because it literally allows the universe to expand through each one of our individual experiences. And isn't that beautiful, really? And for me, I feel most inspired to bridge the gaps. I want to bridge the gaps between men and women, for instance, by seeing the programs and the agenda that men have to face and realizing that no side of this has it, quote, easy because we're all facing so many things that have been in place for so much time and there are these underlying programs that are running us that I personally want to break free from. I mean, my my enemy is not another human. My enemy, if I can even say that, put it that way, is my own limitations, my own limiting thoughts and beliefs, my own limiting patterns and traumas that are are the things the real things that are holding any of us back and when you realize that and you start focusing on that and you start focusing on just shifting your own reality the outer reality shifts that's why everything is an inside job it's not about anything going on on the outside world sure those things i think can be used to wake us up to what we're reacting to within, what we're passionate about. I mean, we can really learn a lot about ourselves by what we feel inclined to fight for, by what we feel triggered by. We can just learn a lot about ourselves. And for me, that's what this is about, is learning about ourselves and learning about what makes us tick. What lights us up? What triggers us? What are some things that we need to look at within so that we can move forward in our most empowered version? Everything on the outside is just mirrors, mirrors and smoke screens, mirrors to show us things about ourselves so that we can move forward without all of these limitations if we choose to. And smoke screens because there is so much in place and so much showing up all the time to just keep us in states of division and in states of fear. When the headlines read things that are about division and fear, it's not an accident. It's by design. Because how does it make you feel when you realize that your emotions are energy in motion and that you literally create with them? And that when you're living in states of fear and when you're living in a place where you feel like you have to fight others to survive, it essentially keeps you from being who you came here to be because it weakens you and it distracts you and it puts our focus onto these sometimes fake things created just to draw a fear response from us so that we can be used like batteries and When we stop just reacting and we stop separating and we stop thinking that each other is our problem, that other people are our problem, when we stop that and we just go within and we start cleaning up our own reality, the outer reality shifts and you realize it was never about fighting anyone or anything outside of you, that it's all been about eternal struggles and internal battles that you've had going on that you just weren't aware of. And I mean, we've been taught this way. We've been programmed this way. For people who haven't had Dreamtime Healing using holographic kinetic sessions before, the whole notion of past lives, for instance, can feel very abstract. It can feel very much like, well, there's no definitive proof for that, you know, so how can we really know that's true? And I just point to the fact that, you know, what I've been really privileged to learn comes from over 60,000 years of ancient Aboriginal knowledge. It's not just some off-the-wall theory that popped up this year. It's literally based on ancient knowledge that Indigenous people all over the world have known. We really need to start listening to the Indigenous people of the world. They had it more right (laughs) as far as the way they lived 
in more harmony with the land, the way they tuned into their own spirit, the way they tuned into the energy of the land, lived outside more, got in nature more. They were right. We have so much to learn from them. And so I'll say, when you have a session of holographic kinetics and you realize that there is more to everything in this reality than what we're being shown, what we're being taught, you realize it's not just about the physical. When you just realize how much is carried through time, so much trauma is carried through time too. And so I think, you know, a lot of the people who feel very strongly about fighting for things or feel very disenfranchised by this reality have some things to look at i'm not trying to make anybody feel bad by saying that but we literally create our own reality and even if it's not consciously things that we set out to create in this life there are traumas that we are carrying through time that also set up our reality to be a certain way and to have us feel certain ways about certain issues and so That's why I just say, you know, anything that you're experiencing that you're not enjoying, if you feel like the world has an unfair slant towards you in particular, take that to a session. Go and find the root cause of why you're feeling that way. Don't use that to hate more. Use it to become more self-aware. Use it to break down your own internal barriers more. And to break down barriers that you may have to other people or other groups of people. As much as they overplayed this and tried to use this as a slogan and a way to just further their campaign, we really are in this together. Yet, we're all on our own path individually. It's like we're together, but we're all very alone. Because we're all facing our own demons we're all facing our own lessons on our path and no one else is truly going to understand our journey and that's okay and getting okay with that and getting okay with the fact that there's more going on with us than just anything the outside world feels like it's doing the outside world isn't the issue if we all focused on healing our own stuff if we all went within and started really healing our own stuff You lose those programs that pit you against other people, that make you feel like you've got to rise up against another group in order to be okay or to get what you deserve. You don't. The the reality is that we can all have what we need. We can all have what we want. But the thing holding us back from having that be the case are things that we're carrying through time that are setting us up to have the experiences that we're having. So to focus on our meat suit is to miss the point entirely. And to focus on division is really just feeding into the larger agendas that keep humans living small living controlled, keeping with the status quo. And I personally don't think that that's all there is to this life. That's not, that's not what I'm creating for myself. That's not the vision I hold for humanity. I see us coming together. And, you know, it's said there's nothing new under the sun, right? Everything has happened before. So it's happening again. And I just want to point out today and remind you that it hasn't just been bad things that have happened before. It hasn't just always only been war. There have been times where humans have lived in harmony with this planet and have lived closer to nature and closer to each other, taking care of each other and working together for the betterment of the entire community, not just of certain individuals working together. And we can be moving towards that as much as we could be moving towards keeping the fights going. It's an individual decision. What do you want more of? What do you want to envision for humanity, for your community, for yourself? Aren't you tired of fighting? Isn't it time that we come together and love each other more? Anyway, I think that's what we're being asked to do as we create a new reality for ourselves is to love more, to come together more, to work together, to make everyone feel valid for their own 
experience instead of having people feel guilty or ashamed for being who they are. It's up to each of us though. And you are a very powerful spiritual being having this human experience and your spirit is capable of changing anything in an instant. If your reality is staying the same, it means there's some internal blocks that potentially could be cleared and released by, in part, doing the inner work and the introspection around what you're experiencing and asking yourself why you do what you do, why you feel how you feel, think how you think by clearing these blocks using dream time healing using holographic kinetics it's the only thing i know that truly has helped me remove these blocks not just bury them for later and feel our emotions and feel into our hearts we're really being asked to do that and i'm telling you as time has sped up i'm noticing that i'm peeling layers off and things are surfacing quickly but then changes from sessions are integrating very quickly. So, you know, this is go time. 2023, we can't ignore our stuff anymore. We can't blame it on the outside world. Not if we truly want inner peace. Not if we truly want a different reality for ourselves. Not if we want to fully stand in our own power and remember who we are and, and who we came here to be. We can't keep holding on to these programs, blaming the outside or blaming this meat suit. It's not it's not an issue with our meat suit. I just hope this inspires you moving forward. I just, yeah, I just felt really called to talk about this because I think coming together is the answer. And I'm sending you so much love. I hope that you're learning to live with a more open heart and that you're learning how to tap into your own intuition more and more and tap into your own passions and your own heart and what you came here to do. Because when we're all living from this heart-based, heart-centered place and we're following our passions imagine the world that we can create and you know what it's also falsity that we have to wait for everyone else to do the work in order to shift this reality we don't your reality shifts when you go within and you heal your own stuff your outer reality will shift that's what it's about our own work looking within and just keeping our hearts open through this time no matter what's seemingly going on in the outside world so Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. For the month of February of 2023 only, I'm holding a special introductory offer that will allow you to come and try Holographic Kinetics by looking at one issue for a special discounted rate. I'm only going to be holding these sessions during the last weekend of the month, which is February 25th and 26th. It's a Saturday and Sunday. So if you have interest in trying this and this offer sounds like something that's for you, I suggest that you reach out to me as soon as possible to schedule your free 15-minute phone or Zoom consultation with me. By doing this, you'll be able to ask questions prior to your session, and I'll be able to go over some of the logistics that I typically cover when you come to me. This way, I'm freeing up more time to allow this opportunity to reach as many people as possible. So you can go to my website and sign up for the free call, or you can email me at jamie at healintobalance.com. If you find yourself wanting to learn more about the work I do with Dreamtime Healing using Holographic Kinetics, or you want to book a session with me, head over to my website at healintobalance.com. Please stay tuned. Every Monday, I'll be uploading new episodes of this podcast. So subscribe and share it with anyone that you think would resonate with this message. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for listening.